Premier, I'm the president of the Malaysia Finders Association. Woo! I was also the team manager for the Perth campaign. So now, first things first, I want you to open up your smartphones, go to menti.com. Right, we'll do a quick one. Don't answer it yet, right? Have a think. What is your biggest concern regarding this campaign? Right? This is open to those trying out and not trying out as well. We as the association we want to know what's your biggest concern for this campaign. Right, so Menti.com, 458837. Do not answer it yet. Okay. Now, uh, while we are at that, I'm just going to minimize this screen. Take your time and have a think of what you want to answer. I just want to introduce you. Four five three eight three seven. Share with your friend next to you. Menti.com four five three eight three seven. Right. You guys are here. We're part of a huge campaign. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just want to quickly introduce you to one person in this in this room who has very uh, who has been very important in laying the foundations of Ultimate and Malaysia. Uh, we have Kwan in this room. <laughs> And Rios is the pioneer, one of the pioneers in Ultimate in Malaysia, and there's a reason he's here. So now you have that thing on your phone, just answer what's your biggest concern. I'll give you 15 seconds. You should be on the top of your head Alright, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, are we good? Right. Okay, so we got 29, 33 responses. Right, and uh, by the looks of it, money, cost, uh, financials, parents, time, money, everyone. Yes, cost, money. Yes. <laughs> right. It's pretty clear that cost is the main factor, and that is why we are here. All right? We want to explain what MN how MMPA could help, what you're getting yourself into, and what you need to do as well, what we need to do together to make this happen. All right? So, uh, as a start, of, I'll invite Lee to explain to you if we're going to Germany, what will cost.
Alright, so okay, we'll reshare this by uh, email. Suki. We have some coaches 
you guys are here as potential players and athletes, all right? Uh, but there's also a huge part to all this national team campaigns, which is the rest of the team stuff. It's a team effort. Everyone has to work together. Everyone has to know your roles, all right? So how do you make things easier for each other? How do you make things, uh, how, I, how do you start from today? First things first, communication, all right? Feedback, communication, keep it open. Any questions, ask. Right? Ask, ask, ask. We might not have the answers immediately, but we'll regroup and give you the answers. Uh, we can have built, has built an FAQ. The more questions you ask, the more we could add, the more clarity we could add together, the easier this would be. Right? Uh, some concerns, you might have studies, you might have, uh, you gotta work, how do you guys go to Germany? Right? Just case example, we can help to try an issue like this. Case in point, Laura worked for Bang Nagara. We issued her letter, she got leave without having to use annual leave to go to Australia. Talk to your employers, talk to your, talk to your, if you're working, talk to your employers, if you're studying, talk to university, tell them you're in this, alright? We can issue help you out, issue like this. I work for Petronas, I, I was transparent with my, bo with my boss, boss, I'm <laughs> managing this team, I need time off, yeah. But be clear about that, be transparent, uh, that's the role of a professional athlete, right? The mindset you have to have is to know your priorities. If you need to concentrate on studies, talk to your coaches as well because that will make things easier for everyone. Okay? Um, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. We have limited time today, but I just want to touch on what we're doing next year. Um, yes, cost is a huge factor. We need to work together. We'll work on the details on that. But what if it doesn't happen? All right? What if cost-wise you can't afford it? That's why we are, we, this, is, this particular <coughs> campaign is not just for Germany. Right, we're looking at something longer term. Like Chrissy mentioned in her slides earlier, we need something long term for youth development. So even if you, uh, you don't make it to Germany, you could still potentially be part of this youth campaign that we want to run something for the longer term uh, to compete at other tournaments as well, not necessarily just Germany, regional, local. Right? Uh, and we want you to be the future of Ultimate in Malaysia. Like how these players here, they're now helping back, we want you to do the same. Right, it's a team effort. We can't do it just the association, just the coaches. It has to be a team effort. Um, why is Juan here? Um, Juan has generously uh, offered for the first few MEOs he's organizing. He's wearing an MEO 2010 shirt. Right? That's the first MEO I played in after I came back from Australia. You guys probably haven't even touched the disc in 2010. Um, yeah, so the first few MEOs, they've raised about 20 something thousand. Right? We just want to be clear that money we do not want to spend it without any long-term benefit. Right? He's going to contribute that money to the association. If that uh, money needs to be used for deposits or upfront payments and all to meet the deadlines for U24, yes, we could potentially use that temporarily, but we need to recover that because we want to spend that money on coaching programs. Right? On coaching programs for 2019, um, we need to invest in coaching development so that we have more uh, because there's a common issue we're facing for not just this under 24, for AO, UGC national team campaigns as well. And yeah, coaching is important because we need that not just for national team campaigns, for, but for grassroots and youth development. So the money will be used mainly for that, all right? Uh, but yeah, so what we're trying to say is we need to raise money together to make Germany happen and to make this youth campaign happen. How we do that, we'll work the details not today, because for these two days, I do not, yes, money to be concerned, take that out of your mind. Just do your best at tryouts, right? Because we want to identify talent first. If we have the talent strong enough, that will be worth all the effort, blood, sweat, and tears to raise that money, right? Yeah. One more thing, you're in here, mindset, Malaysia first, right? You're wearing this, you're potentially gonna carry this flag with you, Malaysia first, club second. Right, it's always Malaysia first, you're here as Malaysians to represent the country, so that's the ones that we want to champion. Um, anything else, Ben? Yeah, we are, we are, it's not 11. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Esther's going to share as well how she's helped and other campaigns. Again, if you have any questions, uh, drop us a message and all. Follow the social, okay, how to make things easier, yeah. Um, any communications, just be on time. Listen, yeah, because it's for, there's a lot more I want to share. Later, if I have time, I'll play this particular video. <laughs> this video here, I want you guys to see it. It's a huge moment in our Malaysian ultimate. I wish all of us could have been there. So, yeah, let's have Esther speak first.